to another video. I'm very excited to have you here. I'm wearing different glasses today because I my other ones don't go in my outfit. So today I'm gonna be talking about all the books I want to read in fall 2020. I have a variety of books that range from creepy crawly to just feel good fall stories. So let's just get right on into it. Before I start this video, I want to say thank you for watching. So the first book I want to read this fall, summer, it's past summer. The first book I want to read this fall is Part of Your World. It is part of the Disney collection, which is basically they have all these authors go and retwist up Disney stories. So this one is about what if Ariel never defeated Ursula and Ursula kind of took over the sea. And it's kind of funny that I want to read this considering I've never seen The Little Mermaid and don't come at me over the fact that I've never seen The Little Mermaid because I wasn't a Disney family growing up. We were more like I watched Teen Titans and my big sister watched reality TV, MTV. MTV Cribs is always on in our home. So I'm really excited to actually get my hands on this. I think it's going to be such a great story, such a twist on what I know of the original tale and I'm very excited to read it. So the next two books I have probably technically aren't fall but it's it's A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings of Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. They are the next two books in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I really enjoyed the Court of Thorns and Roses, so I really want to get to these soon. They just follow the rest of Feyre's journey through the fairy lands, and I'm just really excited. I'm Team Tamlin. Everyone's like, don't be Team Tamlin, it changes, and I'm like, but I am. So I'm really excited to read these two. I hear they're very good. I have not heard any bad reviews. I have the fourth one as well, but I'm not putting this in here because I just feel like that's that's a little, little massive for a fall to VR. I'll save that for the winner. The next one I have on my list is Sabrina the Teenage Witch by Sarah Riss Brennan. So this is just a book take on the show, and this is one of my favorite shows. I'm really sad that it's over after the fourth part. It was such a good show, and we have the same name. But I really want to get to this. I hear it's just a really cute rendition. Basically the same thing, but in book form. And what's better than a TV show becoming a book? I really hope it's good. Fingers crossed. The next book I have is When We Were Magic by Sarah Gailey. This book is about a best friend group of witches. Which could, what, what book could be better for fall than a group of ragtag witches? So this group of girls is, they have magical powers and they're best friends, which is super cool. And when one of their spells goes wrong, they end up killing a boy. So they go and use their powers to try to right this wrong. And instead, they kind of make everything else wrong. So I think this is going to be a really good friendship story. Witches, Halloween, fall. They all go together like gravy and mashed potatoes. That was weird. But yes, I'm very excited to give this a try. I hear it's very good. I've heard very good reviews on it. So I'm very excited to give my review on it. The next I have is Locked Down by Alexander Gordon Smith. This is a middle grade novel that I read in middle school. It is about this terrifying underground prison for teenagers and there are scary guards that look like that and they do experiments on these kids and I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to reread. One because it is kind of nostalgic for me because this is one of the books that really got me into reading. Two because it is a creepy crawly read and three I want to think I want to I want to think it's as good as I remember, but it probably isn't, which is going to be kind of sad. But I'm really excited to give it a reread. The next book I have is *The Silence* by Jonathan Mabur 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 Maberry Maberry. That was a struggle. Oh, let's not even buy that man. The next book I have is *The Silence* by Tim Lebanon. This book is about a world that is plagued by these monsters who come to you when you talk which I would be dead within days because I don't know how to be quiet. This book gives me a quiet place feel, which kind of stresses me out because I hear how similar it is to a quiet place. So I'm like, oh, I hope I enjoy it. The next book I have is Dr. Sleep by Stephen King. I've never read a Stephen King book. Hugh the OMG, you've never read a Stephen King book. No. So I'm really hoping to get to this. This would be my first Stephen King book. I think it's about this guy that puts people to sleep. I don't know but I'm really hoping that I like it. If you've read this book, give me a go and tell me how you liked it. So, The Shining, or <laughs> Dr. Sweet, that's what that book is. And next, I also have another Stephen King novel, which is Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Nightmares for fall. Come on, let's freak myself out, y'all. So this is 20 different stories by Stephen King, and I think it's a bunch of little short stories to scare the holy guacamole out of you. 
It is a 700 page book, but it's small, but the text is really small as well. So I don't know, I'm hoping I'll like it. So I got that one. Moving on to less scary things. The next book I have is The Children of Blood and Bow by Tomi Adimi. This is a high fantasy book about magic and children and I don't know. And they have to bring back the magic to their little community and I don't know. It just seems like a lot of fun. I'm really excited to read it. I might listen to the audiobook for this one because I do have the audiobook for it. But it just seems fun and I don't know. The next book is going to be such a controversy and everybody's going to comment on this and be like, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is a book number one in the Harry Potter series. I've never read Harry Potter. Yep. 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 I've never read Harry Potter. I want to read it to see what the hype is about. I don't know. I've never ever watched the movie, so maybe I'll read the book and then watch the movie. We'll see. Maybe I'll document it. Would you guys like me to document me reading Harry Potter for the first time? Because I think it would be fun. The next book I have is The Last Harvest by Kim Leggett. This book is about a kid who seen his father die in a barn and the last words he heard his father say was like I plead the fifth blah 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 I didn't do anything wrong and it turns out his dad was accusing people of devil worship and a bunch of crazy stuff and he is kind of seeing all these things his dad accused these people of and they're coming back to haunt him so fun creepy exciting the next I have is The Simplicity of Cider by Amy E. Reckhart. I tried to memorize that and it didn't work. This book is about a girl who always had a dream of owning an apple orchard, which same girl. And she is striving to make this apple orchard thrive even though she is struggling. And when she hires a stagehand to kind of help her with the apple orchard, they fall in love, which seems like such a cute fall story. I'm very excited for it. The next book I have is The Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Colgan. This book is about a girl who buys a little bookshop on the corner and decides to buy a van to make her own bookmobile. And really this book is just about this girl finding books to help people be happy, which literally is my dream job. The next book I have is The Saturday Night Ghost Cup by Craig Davidson. I just love this cover. So this book is about a group of ragtag teenagers who decide to create a ghost club. So they get together on Saturday nights and hunt ghosts, but their, but their adventures slowly turn sinister. So I'm really excited to try this book. I hear it's very, very good. It's very cute at times, very creepy at other times, which I think is a perfect mixture for a Halloween read. The next book I have is The Bake Shop at Pumpkin and Spike by Anna Kaufman, Kate Agnell, and Alyssa Charles. That was a lot of names. I had to look at the book. This book is about a bake shop who bakes all these fun fall goodies and there's a love story mixed into it, friends mixed into it. It just seems so much fun. And I just turn to a page and they're calling someone a pumpkin queen. So that's my new name, a pumpkin queen. The next book has been sitting on my shelf for such a long time. I bought it in the winter time and you can't read this in the winter time so i've been waiting for it which is pumpkin heads by rainbow rowell and faith aaron hicks this book is about two friends who work at a pumpkin orchard peat field what do you want to call that a pumpkin orchard they work at this pumpkin orchard and they and it is their last summer of, it is their last fall of working at the pumpkin orchard before they go to college and this is just kind of their adventures through the pumpkin orchard and something i really love about this book is there is a map of the pumpkin orchard how absolutely adorable is that obsessed with this i'm so excited to read it it is a graphic novel if you didn't know i love graphic novels i actually just started getting into them and i think they are so cute so i'm so excited for this next book i have is the forest of souls by Lori m lee this came in my fairy loot last month or the month before i can't remember all I know is it's creepy in a creepy forest that tries to take your soul and has a spider king. So what could be more Halloween than that? The next book I have is the Sundown, Mo my, my, my. the Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. This book is about a creepy motel in New York where I'm pretty sure murders have went down. I don't know, but I've heard it's very creepy. It's very much a thriller and I'm super excited to read this book. Is this even a video on this channel if a cat does not ruin the shot is it no the next book i have is through the woods by emily carol carol 
Emily Carroll. This book is creepy. I don't even want to look inside of it. It is a graphic novel full of all these creepy, scary Halloween stories, which I just feel like is perfect for fall. The next book I have is Seriously Heck by Tina Connolly. This book is about a witch who has a coven of her own. She is a teen witch, and when one of her spells goes disarray and she ends up hexing everybody in the group, she has to fix it. So, witches. I don't think I can go wrong with a book about witches in the fall. The next book is such a classic American Chillers number 10 Missouri Madhouse if you guys have never read these books basically just take states from across the US and they make a scary story out of it so there Jonathan Rand also does a Michigan chiller which is how I got into these books I am from Michigan so I grew up reading these books he basically takes all these scary stories about Michigan and we have a lot of them for some reason we have a lot of shipwrecks in like Michigan so he takes these shipwrecks and he writes scary stories about them which is really cool so this book is about a madhouse in Missouri which honestly reminds me of that one really scary movie we all watched just children that was about a monster house that movie terrified me as a child still terrifies me to this day the next book I have is the dead gentleman by Matthew Cody this book is about a explorer society who lets a little orphan in and he is just so excited to be part of this society turns out they're just duping him and he is trapped down in the basement of this building well, 100 years later, his ghost comes back and a little girl is down there and they team up to kind of go on these adventures together, which seems like really cute, but kind of spooky and I'm really excited for this. And the very last book I'm excited to read in the fall is The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. This book is about a group of babysitters who are witches and they are trying, they're babysitting kids and all their families from the demons that live outside. So that just seems super fun. Very excited for this book. The Babysitter's Coven. Could you even say no to a book about babysitters in, in, in a coven? No. But yes, that is all the books I'm really excited to read this fall. I'm really glad you guys stayed till the end of my video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.